Hello again, this is Carolyn Blakelock, also known as Ming Amazon, and today I want to show you a technique for working what's called a bunny ear decrease, or bunny ear back. Um, it's uh, three stitches into two. Uh, we're going to be working it over these three stitches right here. Now these three stitches were formed um, previously, there was a double yarn over done here, and then a purl one yarn over purl one was knit, worked into that double yarn over, as opposed to, say, like a knit one purl one. Um, and so this is for a test knit that I'm doing uh, with the help of the designer um, and some, some research online. Um, I found a good description, and so I'm making a video to show you how it works. So you slip this first stitch as if you're going to knit it. You knit the second stitch, but you do not remove it from your needle. You take that first slipped stitch, you pass it over your needle, and then you knit those two stitches together. So let's do that again. So we've got two little stitches in between. Okay, so you slip the first stitch, knit the second one, leave it on your needle, slip your first stitch over the stitch on your needle, and then knit those two stitches together. Let's do it again. I have a whole bunch of these. Slip the first stitch, knit the second one, leave it on your needle, pass the first stitch over, and then, come on, it's a little fiddly, especially on lace. Hope you have sharp pointy needles. Okay, now let's do one more here. Hopefully you guys are going to see how it works. Slip the first, knit the second, leave it on, pass your stitch over, and then knit those two stitches together. We'll do one more. first, knit the second, pass the first over, and knit those two together. Okay? So hopefully that'll help. 